Self kick, there's much to get out of comedy. Head to bat, how to be the boom. Welcome to our Read There Yet, an exploration in education and anime. I'm your anime idiot, Patrick Dugan. I'm an anime expert, Dana Hollander. And I'm Brendan McCulley, your anime Gendy Tartakovsky's Primal. Oh. Yeah. I was going to go... Going with... recent with a reference. Oh, I was going <laughs> to... Immediately to take away from your compliment, I originally was going to go with Brett the Hitman Heart, which is a wrestler <laughs> from the 70s. So... I decided to mix it up because that one, that one's gonna be harder to explain. Yeah, I do actually <laughs> know what primal is. So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's uh, very good and made me terrified of long necks dinosaur. Oh, I haven't yeah. watched it, but I know it exists. Oh, it's... yeah, I've heard it's good, and that's all I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Just a visual buffet. Like, there's mm. almost no dialogue, so it's just all conveyed through the story, like, through the animation. And just, oh, God, it's just getting to Tartakovsky just going off and doing whatever the fuck he wants, and he does it well. He does it well. Mm. <laughs> anyway, we're not here to talk about that. That's Western cartoons. Fuck that <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're here to talk about Japanese cartoons. Yeah. If you haven't gotten it, that's the whole theme. <laughs> the superior. <laughs> mm. <laughs> If you haven't caught up in 114 episodes, <laughs> that's the plot of this podcast. That's our whole deal. That's our shtick. <laughs> but yeah, what are we watching this week? Today, we're watching one. I figured it's around Thanksgiving. I don't know, it's not an international holiday, but something I'm thankful for is this movie called You Are Omiso. And it's a very good movie, or at least, I, well, I like this movie. But that's usually the kiss of death whenever I recommend something. <laughs> so uh, it, it's it, critically renowned. I'll say that. Other people also like this movie. It's okay. Not just <laughs> Who are these critics? I well, need to know. Uh, I've been uh, burned before. That told them, me nothing, yeah. <laughs> one of those names is Crendon, and the other one's Sendin, and... Brandon? Brian. Brian. Oh. Friend of the show, Brian. No, don't, don't actually call him out. I, he, I don't know if he's seen this one. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna message him right now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> I, I mean, actually sure have him like right it. here. Hey, Brian. Huh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Could actually do that. Don't call me out like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it's yeah, it's one of those movies where it got a lot of like recognition, and the people that love it love it, or well, the people that have seen it love it. Um, but I don't know how wildly known it is i don't know if it's wildly successful or anything mm. um looking it up i found out it's based off a, a japanese picture book series Aww. so i'm thinking it's like i don't know if it's essentially for children but like it from what i've seen of it last time i watched it i definitely get that feeling that it could be mm -hmm. like a children's picture book series um and apparently they're planning an anime series off it but i think that got mm. delayed uh but as far as i know it's just this movie but uh, yeah, I think there's supposed to be more to it, and I fully welcome it, because I really enjoyed it when I watched it. Mm. Um, do either of you know anything about this? No. Uh, I only know that it was released uh, <laughs> in 2010, because I just looked it up, but that's the only information I have. Ah, a nice, oh god, it's a decade old. Ugh. Wow. Time. Why bother? <sighs> what good is it? Uh... But yeah, it's one I thoroughly enjoy, and it's easily broken up into 90 minutes, so got a 30-minute section for each of us. Great. Ooh. Yeah. Sharing and, is fun. And Makes it's not job easy. It's not like an anime series that was compressed into a movie. Like, actually, it might have been. I, actually, I take that back. I, don't, I can't be confident in that sentence. But <laughs> it's one I've seen before, so I know we're not going to get screwed over of like, uh-oh, this is not what we thought it was. <laughs> uh-oh, it's a five-minute miniseries. Um, <laughs> perfect yeah but yeah the animation's very unique to it and that's what initially what hooked me into it and got me to watch it and uh the story is also very good once you get into it so i'm looking forward to seeing how you 
respond to it. I'm looking forward to watching it. Yeah, I'm so excited to take my die notes. <gasps> I gotta Spoiler. Go. I gotta leave. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it wasn't See, clear. It's about dinosaurs. I I had I uh, before looking it up or anything. I had no fucking clue. So this was a surprise to me. <laughs> yep, same. It's just a cute anime about a father and daughter cooking. What? Huh? I know. Uh, no. uh, but should be fun. Let's get into it. Let's go. Woo! The world is beautiful. The station at the base of Cezark has all the charm of an industrial seaport and the invasiveness of a busy market. Life is a gift. The belabored death of a joyful man is an ugly thing to witness. With kind and giving people. If you push past an angry sailor in Gloucester, it's a transgression worthy of a trip to the bridge. Adventures everywhere you look. He knew I never strayed far from Gloucester and... Would rather read about the next town over than visit myself. And fun around every corner. If I fall to my death, body mangled among the meat, would they notice a passenger in there? So go explore. I bury my face in the pillow and cry silently to sleep as the party continues beyond. Make new friends. She opened the door a crack, just enough to be face to face, but not to imply a welcome. Remember old ones. He was the only one welcoming in the starlight on its many mile journey. And see the beauty the world has to offer. I'm glad I could share with him this moment and return it to its rightful home. Echoed Locations, a traveler's guide to a solar punk world. A new audio fiction travel show premiering December 9th. Subscribe now on your podcatcher of choice. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. <laughs> well, yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> like, we just associate a southern accent with dinosaurs. Specifically, while we were on break, I was a little quiet because I was trying to find a clip of the DNA from Jurassic Park saying dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't find it. Just that Dang isolated it. sound bite. So I was like, I'll do my best approximation because <laughs> DIY or die. Perfect. <laughs> This movie also does remind me of the good dinosaur, but yeah, uh, but done well. Um, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I was going to say about it at the end. Sorry, but here we are. Here we are. Um, but it do, it does have a western vibe to it, which I yeah realized after watching it like the third time now. There's there's some feelings going on here. <laughs> it's a I big can't roller coaster. <laughs> I am so excited to talk about it. I was terrified at the start. I was like, what, what? Fox and the Hound bullshit are you signing <laughs> up for? But, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit like that. <laughs> Here we go. So my first note is dinos with six exclamation points. <laughs> uh, a yellow dinosaur finds an egg in a river and she's like, oh, you poor thing. I'm going to take you. So she takes it to keep it safe um, and she puts it with the rest of her nest. And then we see there's some stormy cold weather and all of the yellow dino moms are huddled over their eggs. There's more peril. Some carnivorous weird dinosaurs come and steal some eggs. There's commotions. Uh, One of her eggs gets crushed and then like the rest gets stolen except for one of her eggs and then the one that she found. So she holds on to them tight and prays for them to be safe. <laughs> you can tell which egg, uh, which egg is the protagonist because it's a different color, like than the rest. But it's the less exciting one. It's just I'm just imagining like Yu-Gi-Oh where it's like, huh? I wonder who the protagonist out of this group of kids is, and it's fucking Yugi with the crazy ass hair. <laughs> What's that one? <laughs> yeah, but but our protagonist, his egg is just like brown and normal, but the the other egg is is spotted it's blue, and blue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. Um. But so, hers hatches, and it's really cute. And then the other one hatches, and it's a little, like, teal blue, so round. (laughs) I love him. Uh, Yeah, just the aesthetics of this movie are so calming, so pure. So At times, don't match the uh, violent Mm -hmm. tones, but it's just so sweet. 
Yeah, these are some sweet little baby dinos. Mm -hmm. And then the other moms gather around and they're like, he's weird. (laughs) He's got pointy teeth. That means he's a carnivore. Um, But she's feeding him some red berries and he seems to be enjoying it. Um, And then like the men come to see the babies. (laughs) Um, And the one in charge sees him. And he's like, oh, no, this cannot be. So he's ready to just annihilate this little just baby blue. Stop him out. Um, and he's like, it's best to do it now before he wants to eat meat. But yellow mom won't let him do that. So oh, <laughs> she takes him away to leave him in a red berry patch. She like leaves him in a pile of red berries where there are a bunch of the plants around so he can eat. And then she walks away and it starts crying out to her. And I I cried. I legitimately (laughs) cried. Was that seven minutes in? New record? I just, I couldn't. She like covers her ears and she like collapses down and I paused it and I was just like, oh my God. (laughs) And I messaged Brendan and I was like, Brendan got me crying about dinosaurs at 1020 in the morning. (laughs) It's a good movie. Uh, so at that point, I was scared that she was going to leave. But then I pressed play again, and uh, she went back to get him. So thank goodness. Um, and then there's a time jump. And the adoptive brothers are watching all of the yellow dinosaurs leave. Um, and then they, like, race each other through the forest. And the blue one's name is Heart, and the yellow one's name is Light. Um, and they're just playing around. Boys just playing, being brothers. Roughhousing, um, having fun. Yeah, and then... Guys being dudes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then they're, like, looking for something to eat. And, oh, no, it's not that. They do, like, a strength competition. And Light is like, hey, you need to be less picky about what you eat or you won't get strong. Because I'm stronger than you. Yeah, they do, like, arm wrestling. And uh, Hart's got little T-Rex arms, so he can't really do much with them. Yeah, um, and then Hart sees a lizard, and he rips off the tail, and he sucks on it, and Light is like, you are so weird, and he's like, it's nice, it comforts me. <laughs> it's comforting, leave me alone. Um, it's like then... my blankie, back mm-hmm. off. <laughs> it's a pacifier. <laughs> it's a pacifier ripped off an animal. Perfect. Um, and then Mom comes, and Light asks why they didn't leave with the rest of the herd, and Mom is like, oh, we don't have to leave just because it's going to be cold. If we're together, it'll be all right. And I was just like, that doesn't seem. Yeah, I was good like, oh, say that. Uh, uh, she's dead. She's dead for sure. <laughs> it's a red flag. Um, and then they're in their tree home eating some food, and Light is eating leaves and acorns, but Hart will only eat the red berries. But he's got to branch out, try more things like branches. <laughs> 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 And then uh, the next day, uh, mom takes them out and is like teaching them how to sniff around for food. So they go running around and Hart sees a little squirrel. So Hart and Light go chase it and they get stuck in a like hole and then they fall down uh, and they fall far into a river. And Hart has like a quick dream of like colorful plants wrapping him up. And then he wakes up and he hears a song. Um, someone is singing about something called a big jaw with their jagged teeth and rough bodies. We get it. You love classical cinema. (laughs) (laughs) It's all like misty too. So it's all spooky. Very spooky. Mm -hmm. Um, and it sounds like someone is coming to eat them. And I, I did write, this is actually pretty spooky. Um, and then they see a dinosaur hanging from a tree. And they're, like, wailing. They're, like, really freaked out. And the dinosaur is like, hey, could you not? Because my baby is sleeping. (laughs) That's who I was singing to. Shush up. Yeah. I was singing the song about murderers to my (laughs) sleeping child. It's a sweet little lullaby. Can you relax? Can you chill? I thought she was, like, a giant sloth. Yeah, she kind of was. A proto-sloth. Yeah. Yeah. I like the design. She's crazy looking. (laughs) I liked her tongue. She sticks out her tongue. It's blah. Blah. <laughs> um, 
And they're like, are you going to eat us? And she's like, no, I am not the big jaw, but you should be afraid of it. And then she like gets a closer look at heart and then she doesn't say anything and she just goes away. She just climbs away, seeming to be afraid. I love this because Brendan, uh, I don't request this a lot. Can you please get a gif of her just like... She just runs backwards, like, emotionless on her face, just scurrying (laughs) away. It's just such a perfect, like, nope, 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 nope reaction. It needs to be documented. Okay, I'll try and find one. (laughs) Um, So Light is like, well, it's kind of because you look like the big jaw in the song. And Heart is just like, what? And he starts crying really loud. Um, And then Mama finds them. And she, like, takes them out of there. And she's like, Light, you shouldn't have said that Heart looks like Big Jaw. That wasn't very nice. He's your little brother. You have to protect him. And then he apologizes. Um, And they're back home. And Heart is enjoying the view of the the forest. And he's like, hey, uh, uh, to his mom. He's like, hey, how come I can't eat leaves and acorns like other people? Um... And she's like, oh, it's okay. Like, don't freak out about it. Uh, hey, don't worry about it. Stop asking so many questions. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, uh, shut up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you heard this new thing? It's really cool. Everyone's doing it. It's called shutting oh, wow. up. <laughs> Quick results. Look at that. There yeah, it is. That's uh, beautiful. Dropped in the chat. Just a beautiful <laughs> reaction gif of nope, nope, nope. I'm out. I'm out. Yep. I'm efficient. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Uh, she says that Light shouldn't have teased him, and he's like, oh, well, don't punish him for anything. It's okay. Um, and then she pulls him close, and she says that she's proud that they're both her children. He's very sweet. I, I was surprised uh, at this point, even, this early on the movie. I'm like, there's a, lot, there's a lot of intimacy in this movie. There's a lot of like physical touching between yeah. the characters, which you don't see too often, and it's, it really like wraps you into it and like mm-hmm. sucks you into the movie real quick. Yeah, they just... Like, four colorful dinosaurs. They just establish, like, a healthy, good family. <laughs> just so good. Very sweet. So good. Um, we see Hart is off on his own. He's running through the forest, and he wants to find his own food. Um, he runs and finds a clearing. Well, it's not a clearing. He breaks out of the forest, and, like, he's just on the plains. Um... So he's beyond the forest and he keeps going. Um, And then we see mom and she realizes that he's gone and she's like, hey, Light, can you go find him? Um, And then Hart, out on the plains, sees some big green dinosaurs who are shaped a lot like him. Hmm. um, Attacking a triceratops. And they make they make these T Rexes look so cute and round. <laughs> oh, they're just like seals, perfect squishy friends. Yeah, yeah. just like what those I couple of small teeth sticking out to be like, hey, yeah, I'm pointy <laughs> up here, but it's adorable. What I wouldn't give to have a plushie of one of them. <laughs> Watching these, oh, like I, I mean, I haven't really looked for them, but I'd be very surprised if there weren't plushies of them because, like, it There's feels like well, be. it feels like one of those where like we're designing this with the merch in mind first, and then we're like working backwards for the movie. Well, if, especially if it was kids' picture books first, yeah. I feel like they must have stuffed animals. Well, you're in luck, because I'm about <gasps> to post an eBay link oh my God. For, for a character we'll get to soon. It's oh. a little ugly, this plush in particular, but still a squishy good friend. Impossible. Okay. Everything in this is adorable. Yeah, I, I like ugly cute anyway. Um, So they're trying to attack this Triceratops, but it's not going very well because it's fighting back. Um, and then one eye Baku shows up and he is very big, much bigger than the green guys. Lord There's like Lord. three green T-Rexes and then one blue one. And then Baku is a big dark teal T-Rex. Um, and he has red stripes oh. on him. Just like, just like, uh, someone else we know. <gasps> yeah. Just like heart. There it is. There's the friend. <laughs> that is a friend. We're we're being vague about this friend because we don't meet this friend for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he because he's bigger than the others, one eyed Baku takes down the Triceratops easy and he's just like, What have I told you guys about this? Like, don't try to attack Triceratops, they're too strong, whatever, eat it. You're too um, weak. Yeah, he's obviously the leader. 
Um, and then Hart watches as they eat the Triceratops and he tries to run away, but they sniff him out. And one of them comes over and they're like, he, well, all of them go over and they're like, you smell like a plant eater, but clearly you're shaped like us. <laughs> you're this shaped like weird. a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and then Baku comes over and he's very, Baku is like really scary looking but he's like pretty like well-mannered all things considered and i think that's really interesting like he's kind of like gil from finding nemo oh yeah i was i was just thinking about this because like i aspire to be this sort of just like assertive (laughs) but gentle (laughs) person yeah like the ideal like movie gang leader that's like i will show you mercy this once but if i see you again i'm ripping your tongue out it's like oh okay thank you very polite young man Bye. <laughs> well that's the thing with all the uh, big jaws we see it's got very yakuza vibes to it and we find mm-hmm. out the like mm-hmm. bluer one kind of with, like the reddish eyes is a uh, gonza and G- goes yeah <laughs> God, I, just, I, tried to, I tried really hard not to say that uh, Gonza. uh he's kind of got the punk like up and coming like uh yakuza member like ah, i'm gonna be the lead i'm the headshot but he's just all mm-hmm. talk and then one-eyed baka is like yeah the veteran like yakuza leader with the you know the scar over the one eye it's just like you know he, he lets his actions speak for him he's not all talk and it's just like you don't piss off baku <laughs> like he yeah. will murder you <laughs> But, like, even in the gang dynamics, he's, he, like, swoops in for the kill, and he's like, no, this was this was your hunt. I just got the last punch, so uh, you all eat. And they're like, oh, no, thank you. Thank you, I, boss. Please. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Rather than, like, typical Western villains of, like, no, it's mine, yeah. greedy boss. Baku's hot. Like, we can all just say that. <laughs> <laughs> His personality. <laughs> yeah. Um. So... Uh, Baku goes over to Hart and he says, are you hungry? And Baku, I mean, Hart is just like scared. Like he doesn't really know what to say. (laughs) He's like, do you have parents? Like, are you okay? And, uh, Hart is like, yes, I have a mom. And Baku's like, okay, then go get out of here. Um, and as he runs off, uh, Baku stops him and he says, he asks for his name. Um, and then Hart gives it. And he's like, okay, well, Hart, be careful going home. And then he leaves. Uh, But Hart is freaking out now because he's seen all that happen. I don't think he, well, I guess he knows that dinosaurs eat other dinosaurs, but he's never seen it happen. Yeah, he's Um, always lived in that safe forest. Yeah, so he's traumatized. Um, He falls into the river and he's like calling out for Light. And Light finds him and pulls him out and he asks him what happened. But Hart doesn't respond. He just calls for Mama. Um, But then... Uh, turns out Gonza followed them, which is scary. Like, I was like, oh, shit, no. <laughs> Leave him alone. There's a carnivore in the forest. Um, And then he asks how they're related. Like, he's like, you guys aren't brothers. And then he pins Light. And Light just tells Hart to run. And Gonza is like, are you serious? You're a plant eater and you're protecting a meat eater? Like, calm down. Um. And then Light is like, no, we're brothers. And then Hart gets upset and he rushes at Gonza and Gonza just like grabs him and pushes him into Light. And he's like, you like one day you won't be able to resist eating this kid. Um, And then Hart freaks out and he clings to the bad guy's tail. He bites it. And then he ends up ripping it off and Gonza runs away. Tailless. <laughs> Stupid kid to bit off my tail. Big mean I'm going to tell Baku. <laughs> Um, And then Hart, instead of spitting out the tail, swallows it and his eyes go blank like the other T-Rexes when they were uh, hunting the Triceratops. Um, And then it seems like he's going to attack Light, but then he gets a hold of himself and then he freaks out and he's like, oh, no, I have enjoyed the taste of meat. I got to get out of here. I'm a monster. (laughs) So he runs away. Um... And then we hear the Big Jaw song again, and we see a circle of long-necked dinosaurs protecting their babies. Um, And there's been a time jump again. Hart is a big boy now, and he's the one singing the song, and he's terrorizing the long necks, which is like, that's pretty scary. Yeah. Like, if you were a long neck in that situation, you're just like, oh, my God. Um, 
So he keeps running around them. The adults get dizzy and they fall over, exposing the babies. Um, but one of them falls on him and that's the one that he eats. Um, so while he's eating it, the rest get away. I um, didn't know how badly I needed to see a dinosaur go through a rebellious teen phase. But <laughs> it was just so perfect. I'm like, oh, this mm, it just lines up perfectly. Yeah, it's delightful. One of my notes is heart goes from a uh, crybaby to Yusuke Urameshi in one time skip. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then the... Uh, I keep saying T-Rex. They call them Big Jaws. I've also said Big Jaws. The Big Jaw gang from earlier uh, runs over and they're like, you're on our territory. Get the <laughs> heck out of here. Get out of here, you um, punk ass kid. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Hart taunts Gonza for still not having a tail <laughs> and then runs off. And then there is a montage <laughs> of him doing push-ups and like other exercises to get strong. And Just in inner- case you almost forgot that we were watching anime, you had to have a quick reminder. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Um, and he has an inner monologue about being raised as a plant eater. Um, so he's trying to get strong because he didn't as a kid. Um, and then we see Mom and Light. And Light is asking if they can return to the herd of yellow dinos. Um, and like he, he is the one that wants to rejoin. Um, and then the leader is like, yeah sure does your mom also want to rejoin um and we don't see it in that moment but she does she's very Um, sad because heart just ran away never came back um and then heart finds an egg that's hatching and he's ready to eat the baby but then (gasps) the baby (gasps) climbs all over him and he's like dad (laughs) and this is this is umaso because it hatches and and heart says oh you look tasty and then he's like you said that that's my name (laughs) imprinting Um, this is how it works we know this about dinosaurs (laughs) um and he's like a little he's a little hardback he's like a little spiky shell from uh mario he's a ankylosaur Uh, very cute. They got the hard Just shell. Um, Pokemon. <clears throat> the big, yeah. big blunt like uh, bone on the end of their tail. And just, they're my favorite dinosaur because uh, oh. scientists found, the, or uh, archaeologists found like the skulls of them and measured the uh, skull capacity. And they said they would have like a brain the size of a walnut. And they possibly are the <laughs> dumbest dinosaur ever recorded. And I was like, I love them. I love these big, <laughs> dumb armored dogs. Wow. They're um, so dumb, evolution had to be like, all right, let's just make all of just, you armor. You <laughs> you need something. You're too stupid. We're wrapping you in prehistoric bubble wrap. Like, just get out there. Have fun. Uh, so it climbs up uh, to Hart's head, and then he stands up, and Umaso is like, oh, that's so cool. Dad, you're so tall. You're so cool. This is amazing. And right away, Hart is just like, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, Just like everyone in this moment, Hart's like, (laughs) oh, my precious boy. (laughs) Yeah. And then Umaso falls off of his head, but he catches him. Um, And then he's like, you must be hungry since you just hatched. So let's go get you some food. (laughs) I think the best thing about this character is the running sounds. Just the little xylophone. (laughs) Yes. Oh, just the tiny little legs keeping up with a T-Rex. It's amazing. <laughs> you always know he's approaching. Yeah. <laughs> you, you hear like heart running and you hear stopping. You hear. It's like, what the hell's that sound? <laughs> oh. That I'm, is my son. I'm making a mod to replace all the footsteps in Among Us with that. <laughs> <laughs> it reminded me a lot of Homestar from Homestar Runner. Mm. <laughs> he's like running just. Uh, yeah, uh, Hart has him, and he's like, all right, he's still itty-bitty, but maybe I can, like, fatten him up. Maybe I can feed him for a bit, and then once he's big enough, then I'll eat him. And it's like, okay, you keep lying to yourself there, big guy. We all know you're in love with him. <laughs> um, so after he hatches, he spends the first night together, and Hart has a dream where it's just berries all around him. And I, I don't know what it is about dinosaur movies, but these red berries and, like, the star leaves from Land Before Time, like, they look tasty. Like, I checked that yeah. off for delicious cartoon food. And, like, every dinosaur likes these red berries. They're great. Who would? I'm yeah. a little uh, put off by the weird, like, body horror pineapples that they yeah, come from. Was, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was... Mm. 
If you don't see where they come from, they sure are tasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just piles of red berries. It's like a mandrake pineapple where it's yeah. like, mm, I'm pretty sure that's flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but so Hart's having this dream where he's just surrounded by the berries and he's a little little T-Rex again, a little big jaw. And uh, he's hearing his mom's voice calling for him. And he's like, mother? Mother? And he's looking for him. He's like, where are you, mother? And she's like, oh, we're in your belly. You ate us. And he's like, <gasps> and he wakes up and it's a nightmare. My he's burden. Like, <laughs> My burden. Uh. And uh, we see next day, Hart and um, uh Oh, God, this one's going to be tough for me. Umaso. Umaso. Uh, we'll see what it is by the end of my section. Uh, <laughs> Hart is with Umaso, and they're just kind of like hanging out when he's not looking. Hart like licks him a little bit, and he's just like, eh, he's, he's not that tasty, but he's still small, but he's crunchy. Um, <laughs> and it's while Umaso is sleeping, so Umaso just naturally reacts and hugs Hart's tongue. And he's like, Dad. My fa- loving father, my eternal protector, who will never do any harm to me. He's like, God damn it. Shit. God. And then uh, next day, Hart uh, takes him to like a flower field. Well, we just see Umaso like running through the flower field like Pac Man, and he's just leaving little turds behind him, like pooping <laughs> as he's just like carving a maze in this flower field. And uh, he's like, Dad, why don't you eat with me? He's like, I don't eat grass. I, no, I can't eat that. And he's like, Oh, okay. And uh, Hart goes off to get uh, his own food, and Umaso starts running after him. He's like, no, you stay here. I'll be right back. And Umaso's like, got it. Cool. I'll stay right here. And then immediately starts following Hart again. <laughs> it's like, no, stay. And he puts Umaso in the little flower field to eat, and he runs off uh, and hunts down another dinosaur and starts munching away. And uh, after he catches something, he's like, you know what? That's, you know, I got my fill. I should probably head back, check on Umaso. Uh, and then we cut to, we see just a real plump Umaso just ate a lot of flour, just real round. And, uh, we see, like, <laughs> it's another meat eater, but it's like, I mean, they're all dinosaurs and you can identify what some of the dinosaurs are, but some of them are just, like, real cartoony. Like, this one kind of mm-hmm. looks like a T-Rex with devil horns, like, big yeah. evil horns. Um, and he's, like, sneaking up on him, like, tiptoeing up, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> just real outlandish. <laughs> and, uh. Whereas he gets up to him, so like sees him, he's like, "Oh, hi, are you a new friend?" He's like, "Yeah, you're looking tasty." And he's like, "Yep, that's my name, Tasty." And it's like, "All right, cool, I'm gonna eat you." <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And, what perfect fortune for me! <laughs> <laughs> Great, you sure talk a lot for a snack. And he's like, "Yeah, I sure too." And it's like he's not getting Umaso's not getting the danger. <laughs> Uh, and right as he's about to eat him, uh, Hart shows up and just drop kicks him out of the sky. It's so funny. <laughs> and just sends the other dinosaur flying into nowhere. Because it is super anime. He like comes in with like both of his legs. Yeah. And just bah! <laughs> He's flying in already in the air uh, from off screen. Sure, and... I'm built to use my teeth, but let me just roundhouse kick every dinosaur in the world. <laughs> they got them big old stomping legs. I don't blame them. <laughs> Uh, so we see them uh, going about their day for a bit, and Hart notices that Umaso's not around. Where'd he go? Where's the little boy? And we find out Umaso wandered off because he smelled berries, and he starts finding a bunch of them. And yeah, that's where we find out the berries are coming from these plants, which are just pineapples with the berries on the sides. And <laughs> yeah, it seems like no one eats the pineapple part. Everyone eats this small little dot on this giant weird fruit. That's the good part. That's the good one. That's where all the flavor is. And while he's in this, like, berry patch, he's going around and he's gathering a bunch of berries to put them on his back because he's, uh, he walks on four legs, all the other dinosaurs, or most of the dinosaurs we've seen at this point are bipedal. Um, and he puts them all up in, like, a little pyramid and digs underground and it pops out from underneath him. I was like, oh, that's clever. <laughs> it's precious. <laughs> uh, he's learning! <laughs> so <good. laughs> and we see him, like, spilling some of the berries and he's, like, trying to put them back on his back. Uh, and when he's doing that, uh, he hears a voice. And it's another another dino who's like talking. I was like, "Oh, you're a little hard shell." He's like, "Huh? No, I'm Umaso." He's like, "No, you, but you're a hard shell." He's like, "Yeah, I'm Umaso." It's like, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> this boy's dumb, but I love him. Uh, and we see like a p- point of view from the dinosaur, the old dinosaur he's talking to, like from his mouth, and we see he's got the sharp teeth. So we're just like, <gasps> "Oh no, <laughs> and, villain." <laughs> And I trusted this man right away. <laughs> Explicitly. Just, yep. Uh, or implicitly. Uh, and we see Hart freaking out, want, trying to find Umaso. Like, where is he? Where's my boy? Where's my son? And he's running around all over the place. He's picking up like little dinosaurs. Like, have you seen him? Did you eat him? He's like, no, we haven't eaten anything, boss. He's like, get the hell out of here. And um, 
clearly doesn't take shit from anyone and everyone's a little scared of heart <laughs> and uh when he's like finally freaking out he like sits down on a cliffside and umaso just like runs up he's like hey dad i got a snack and he's just like why why did you run away you should leave right away yeah you're in danger gets me and he just starts like freaking out and umaso just starts crying it's like oh no <laughs> baby <laughs> <Me too. laughs> and oh. he's like I just wanted to find food for you, Dad, because you can't eat the grass. I wanted to find something you could eat, and I thought you'd like these berries. Ah! And he's, like, crying. Uh, and uh, Hart tries to, like, cheer me. He's like, no, 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 I, I like the berries. The berries are fine, huh? See? And he, like, pops on. He's like, they're great, right? He's cool. such a good dad. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's been a dad for one day. <laughs> he's like, no, you don't have to cry anymore. I'll eat them. And he's like, oh, yay, thanks. Uh, and he's like, where did you find these anyway? He's like, oh, this nice old man showed me where. He's like, old man what so yeah i'll go take it to him so he takes uh heart back to the berry field where he finds the old man i find out it's old man uh, beckon or beckon um and we find out uh yeah like we thought he's a big old big jaw big old t-rex sort of fella huge bigger than one-eyed baku yeah but he's old and slow and all the plants like grew on top of him and he can't move anymore and it's like, oh, no. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, my teeth are all old and brittle. I can't chew stuff anymore. Like, even if I wanted to, I couldn't eat the little hard shell. So uh, some of the others come by and bring me some food sometimes. So uh, since my I can't move My dentures don't work on the hard candy anymore. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and uh, Hart's like, oh, so you just eat all the berries that are lying around you? He's like, no, a big jaw eating berries would be a disgrace to our kind. He's like... You eat those berries. Don't you lie to me, back or uh, Bygone. <laughs> you uh, rely on food whenever anyone remembers to bring you some. Don't <laughs> pretend like you aren't snacking away on the days no one comes. Yeah, he even says, like, eh, the people aren't coming around too often. It's like, yeah, then eat those berries, old man. <laughs> um, so they talk for a bit, and he warns Hart about one-eyed Baku. And that's what Hart remembers. It's like, oh, I met him before. It's like, yeah, he's... He's the king of the plains. He'll fuck your shit up. Like, don't. He's bad news. Don't test him. He's, sort of. Kind of. He's a good boy. He's kind of He's high. doing his job. Uh, and he tells, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he tells him a story about how Baku, like, lost his eye about how these pack of long necks. But, like, he calls them, like, long necks, but they're, like, raptors. They're not, like, uh, mm. apatosaurus. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's just these other, like, raptor-like dinosaurs, but they're pretty big. Like, a herd of them came up to the plains and started attacking everyone. And Baku was the one to stop them single-handedly, and that's where he lost his eye. And that's kind of how he got all of his respect. He's badass! <laughs> and uh, he tells Hardy, he's like, what do you plan on doing with uh, Umaso? Like, at the end of the day, you're a meat eater, he's a plant eater. Like, it ain't gonna work. Like, I don't know what your plan is, but I can tell you it won't work. Uh... He's like, we'll see about that old man. So he takes Umaso back to like, they're in like a mountain, but there's like big split in the center, and like that's kind of where their home is. And uh, he takes him back there and uh, just starts training him. Uh, he starts going at Umaso, like charging at him, and teaching him how to roll and dodge the attacks. And he's like, good. If you can dodge me, like I'm one of the fastest out there. So if you can dodge if me, if you can dodge a big job, <laughs> you can dodge a ball. <laughs> can dodge a dad you can dodge a baku <laughs> so he's uh training him how to do all the rolls and we see a little almost start like yeah once again it's been like a week like almost so is just absolute baby so it's just like really funny seeing him like doing intense training um and then after they do a few more dodges we got ourselves a real montage a real training yeah. montage yeah, with the pump up music and it's just going the distance it's great uh, so we see him, uh, we see Hart, like, knocking down, like, palm trees with his tail, teaching Omaso to do that, because then <laughs> Ankylosaurs have, like, the big bone at the end of their tail, so it's, like, their main weapon. So we see him doing that, and we see him doing, like, other dodges and running and stuff, it's great. It's just a real true blue montage, and it's fantastic. Father-son mm-hmm. bonding. And then we see uh, Hart shows up, or, no, what, what? my notes uh heart, <laughs> heart shows arrives to his own montage <laughs> hey what are you guys Whoa, doing here what's what? going on here <laughs> he takes over from the stunt double yeah he takes over <laughs> uh we see heart uh shows him so how to fight and roar uh, uh, during the oh montage. Oh my god! I couldn't with Umaso's <laughs> oh. tiny little roar. <laughs> uh during the montage we see them giving uh bike him more food like they bring him some uh meat for him 
and uh, at the end of it, we see Hart, uh, high, we see Hart like tuck Umaso in that cliffside that they were like staying at, like up higher up on the cliffside because he can do the Jean Claude Van Damme split kick and like walk up the middle of the split <laughs> in the cliff or up in the mountain. So he puts him away in like a little hole where no one else can find him. And it's really funny seeing a T Rex do the Jean Claude Van Damme split. Um, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, Hart goes out and keeps hunting and stuff, and we get, like, a shot of him hunting at dusk, and everything's red, it's real ambiance, real mood setting. Mm-hmm. And while he's out hunting, he's wondering if, wondering how his mom felt raising him, because he's kind of, kind of in her position now, raising a, you know, a, a different kind of eater than he is. It's the circle of life. And then, uh, we get a few days later, we see Hart tells Uma so, he's like, we're done. I've taught you all I can. I know no more. You, you're a man now, son. You gotta go off on your own. I'm leaving It has you. been one month. <laughs> it's been one month. It's been. <laughs> Have yeah, you grown he... at all? No. no. Have you learned anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Uh, but you've learned self-defense, but you're st- you still have a brain the size of a walnut. You are still. You can an defend inch yourself high. from a crab. <laughs> and that's the end of the it's list. About it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he, despite him not being any bigger, he's like, "All right, now it's time to you go off on your own." And it was so just like, "Yeah, no, no, nah, fuck that, no." Nah, I'm saying we need dad. He's like, "No, we can't do that. That's not how this works. You have to be a man. Have to be a, go off on your own as a child, like I did." And uh, it was so just you know he's imprinted on him. He's like, "No, I'm staying with you forever, dad. We're gonna live to get, spend our whole lives together." It's like, "Oh, this boy." This boy! <laughs> Hart tells him, he's like, all right. Uh, he's like, and he almost was like, oh, I'm going to be just like you, Dad, when I grow up. And Hart's like, nah, nah, don't be like me. You can't be like me. Uh, Hart says, like, all right, I got it. We'll have a race. We'll race each other. And if you win, we'll stay together. And if I win, we'll go our separate ways. And he was like, uh, I don't, I don't, you're bigger than me, Dad. I don't know about that. That just doesn't seem like a fair race. And Hart's just like, one... Two, and it was, it was like, ah, shit, and just starts running. Um, and starts taking off. Oh, and it's also raining, and we see a little shot of him, so it's like jumping in Hart's footprints because they're filled with water, and he'd yeah. swim around. It's very cute. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's all too much. It's too much. And so Umasar starts running, and he's running real hard, and he's, he's panting, and he's sweating, and he's running real hard, he's putting all in. And then we see Hart give him a little head start, but he catches up to him instantly. And the whole time they're racing, Hart's just right behind him the whole time. And Umaso sees that and starts starts running harder and harder. And then once he once he gets into a full sprint and he's just running his little heart out, uh, heart uh, slows down and stops and then turns around the other way and starts running away from him. So <laughs> uh, my break soul, my heart, why don't you? <sighs> <laughs> and we see Umaso just keeps running and running and running. And we see Heart like off in the distance, like looks back and he's just like, "Be safe, Umaso." No! No! <laughs> and then, we and see, then the movie ends. The movie and that's is, it. That's it's all. just sad. We're just bumped forever. Uh, we see Umaso still running, and we see him running into these like dangerous, like old dead woods, like this old dead forest. And we see him running and running and running. And he's, he's running so hard, he's got his eyes shut. So he bumps into Gonza and his friends, the other big jaws from before. And then it's like, oh no. And, mm. uh,. Umaso starts screaming, and he's like, nah, he, uh, my dad will protect me, and he's right behind me. And uh, all the other big jaws start beating him up. Cause, uh, uh, and then uh, when he yells and they start fighting, uh, Hart hears the scream and starts running right back. He's got to save his boy. And it turns he out- he trained him to have such a powerful yell! <laughs> 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 turns out it's actually kind of hard to beat up a hard shell, because- they got hard shells. so we, But they're doing a number on this they're, child. They're still beating the shit out. Baby. But we do see one of the T-Rexes with like a big welt on his leg. And he's like, careful, he broke your leg. He's like, he didn't break my leg, he just hurt it because his tail's so hard. He's like, yeah, I almost like got him. Um, yeah. But so he can fight a little bit. He fight a little bit, he's just a little guy. Uh, so they're beating him up and... Uh, Gonza, like after they after they kind of knock him out, Gonza like picks him up in his mouth and he's like, "All right, I guess I'll lead him." And right at that moment, Hart see, like runs in and sees him, and like Gonza's like, "What, Hart? What are you doing here?" And Hart just like you know goes feral and just like, "My boy!" 
and just starts <laughs> beating the shit. That's my son! Yeah. <laughs> He heads puts Ganza into spitting Omoso out, and then uh, Hart grabs Omoso in his mouth to keep him safe, and then just starts laying into everyone. Just this is like this is the big like fight sequence that I saw for the first time. I was like, I gotta find out what this movie is and watch it. <laughs> like, this is this is gold. This is great because it's T Rex is it's all the other T Rexes are fighting like a T Rex would with their tails in their mouths. And then Hart is just like straight up judo throwing them across the place and like suplexing them and just doing crazy martial arts bullshit on them. And it's his mom secretly taught him when he was a child. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so good to watch. And uh, he beats up all the other big jaws. And uh, one part that was particularly brutal is he grabs a rock, puts it in Gonzo's mouth, and it just uppercuts his mouth shut and like shatters all of his teeth. <laughs> oh. I was just like, oh shit. Like, he that, ain't holding back. Uh, that's some bar fight bullshit. Yeah, that's brutal. <laughs> back alley brawl. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, uh, what we didn't see in the time skip was uh, Hart hanging out in a bunch of pool halls, <laughs> <laughs> just hustling people. He's hanging out with Wolverine from the X-Men and teaches him how to do dirty tricks like that. <laughs> uh, once they're all knocked out, uh, Hart's kind of catching his breath. One-eyed Baku shows up. He just looks, over, oversees the wreckage. He's like, did you fight these by yourself? He's like, yeah. He's like, there's no bite marks on them. Why didn't you use your teeth? We're big jaws. That's that's our thing. That's why we got the name Big Jaw. And he's like, well, I mean, you beat them all up, so clearly you're better than them. <laughs> but you just still beat up my boys in my territory, so I'm exiling you. Never come back. And if you ever come back here, if I ever catch you in my area again, you'll have to fight me. Just like, oh, sh- I know I oh, let shit. you go once, and now I'm letting you go again. <laughs> but next time, next time, that's strike two, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> and that's all we give for T Rexes because we only got two fingers. <laughs> we can only <laughs> count to two. <laughs> I had a dinosaur class in college, and one day we just watched dinosaur movies, just calling the inaccuracies, and like every movie has T Rexes with three you fingers. Had a- dinosaur class in college yeah i had to pick one for like my gen ed it was like an earth science like minerals and the guidance counselor was like yeah the teacher broke her arm and can't do all the experiments in the earth science class so now she's teaching her dinosaur class i was like why was that not an option before <laughs> so good it was a great class if you wanted people to learn science you would lead with that yeah i was like, <laughs> I, was like I would have picked that first it was it was actually a great class um <laughs> So, yeah, uh, Baku tells him to leave and uh, never come back. And Hart runs back to, like, the cliffside to the mountain areas out of the plains where they're safe. And uh, he checks on Omoso to make sure he's okay. And when he wakes up, Omoso says, Hey, Dad, you never caught me, so I won the race. So that means we get to stay together forever, right? And Hart's just like, (laughs) (laughs) He's like, yeah, you got me, bud. We're we're sticking together. We're sticking together. together. You got me. I'll stay with you forever. You know, like he's super choked up and he's just like shit. It's it's my son now. He wins. He won. He won. He got. Me. I was beaten by a month year old. <laughs> <laughs> and then we cut to we see Baku bringing food to old man Biken, and he just uh, he tells him about the fight with Hart. And Biken's like, yeah, yeah, Hart. He's a real rapscallion. He's a little rascal. Uh, kind of reminds me of you when you were that age. Hey, Baku. What happened to that egg you lost all those years ago? Baku's like, shut up, old man. <gasps> you don't know anything. You know, I don't need to talk about it. Leave me alone. The reveal. The reveal. <laughs> the prestige. <laughs> it was Hugh Jackman. The whole, and uh, we see uh, a <laughs> few phases of the moon, the moon cycle through all the phases. So it's like, ah, time skip. I wonder how big Omoso, are, uh, Omoso is now. It's like, no, I wanted nothing. him to be no. a big boy. No, he's still itty bitty. He's like maybe an inch tall. Like he's still super baby. Um, and uh, now this time we see Hart at the beach pulling it up like a, just a giant red, a rainbow like sturgeon or something like a big old fish out of the ocean. And it's like, yes, beach episode. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Got it. And then we see uh, Hart just dragging that fish with him. And he like walks out to like the ocean a little bit. And it's like, hey, Peru, Peru. And we see it's a. Alamosaurus? This bitch deserved more screen. <laughs> I love this woman. <laughs> it's just like a big old Loch Ness monster looking dinosaur. Like it's got the flippers and it's like a long neck. Pure just, white. Uh, show us your romance. <laughs> Pure white. And just like 
dot, like in an Adventure Time face. Just dot, dot, smile mouth. That's it. Like, that's all the detail on the face. <laughs> and I'm just perfect. like, beautiful. She's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's just like, like sitting back on a rock out in the ocean, like playing with the seagulls, like, like head twirling around with them and stuff. And uh, we see Hart, like them talking. Uh, Hart's out there on her rock, like eating the fish. And he's like, hey, I'm kind of worried about what the news the seagulls were telling me. And it's like, oh, she communicates with seagulls. She's the crazy pixie dream girl at Woodstock. With the flowers <laughs> in her hair. She talks to animals. Love it. <laughs> um, but the seagulls are saying that Egg Mountain, the place where uh, Hart was raised by his mom and with light on, underneath a giant mountain that has an egg on top, thus the name. Uh, do, you, saying, do you get it? I know it's a little it? convoluted, it's, but it's, mm. it's hard to I don't understand. know if it translates. <laughs> uh, and they're saying Egg Mountain's breaking apart. So he's a little worried because that's where you know, his family is in the herd. Uh, and we see Hart sharing, all, uh, sharing the fish with Peru Peru. Uh, and they're talking. And uh, they're like, yeah, hey, you might want to go back and check on him. And Peru Peru's just like, hey, remember when we met for the first time? And it's like, please tell me. Please tell me this story. <laughs> I need to know. And uh, we see a flashback of Hart falling off a cliffside into the ocean. And Peru Peru rescues him and uh, brings him up on shore. And then we see a little montage of uh, Hart carrying Peru Peru on land, showing them like, what the land is like. And then we see Peru Peru carrying Hart and Omasaw in the ocean, like swimming around. A love story for the ages. <laughs> I can show you. <laughs> it really felt like that. <laughs> And we see uh, Hart, uh, she like, or Peru Peru warns Hart about the big jaw of the ocean. And we see Hart just like encounter him and like running from him. And then he starts fighting him and rips him in half. And it's like, Hart, don't take shit from no one, land or sea. He's a god king. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, we get a little uh, whimsical shot of like a pterodactyl dropping a berry into the ocean. And my last note is just, when's the Peru Peru Hart X Hart fanfic coming? <laughs> oh no! It, it, it felt romantic as shit. <laughs> Maybe the anime you're talking about earlier is gonna be a spinoff. <laughs> they just of their love. They just uh, raise well, my AMV together. is in the works, so it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. About it. <laughs> yes. And this part is really beautiful. The whole movie is really beautiful, but the this undersea part. stuff is gorgeous. The water mm-hmm. effects. Yeah, yeah, all the background art is just so detailed so colorful so beautiful it's it's great it's good stuff yeah good juxtaposed shit. with the really simple dinos it's kind of funny <laughs> yeah <The> real, <laughs> but it's really pretty Round, hey you, we don't need this flower to do roundhouse kicks it's fine <laughs> <laughs> it's stationary it can be pretty <laughs> uh so yeah uh Hart is reminiscing, conflicted about going back. He's like, I left because I was afraid I'm going to eat my family. And Perro's like, hey, uh, idiot, they're about to die, maybe. So uh, <laughs> maybe uh, uh, show them you aren't going to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he takes Umasal and they head back to the volcano. So uh, we go back to the woods where all the herds are and we see that the mountain's all smoking up. It's about to erupt. And all the groups are worried. And uh, the Big Jaws report that uh, Hart is back in the plains. And uh, the the smaller dinos are going to confront it. So Baku is on his way. Uh, it just really feels like a yacht because of the Big Jaws. Hey, boss! Hey, boss! Hart's back in town! <laughs> it's like, all right, boys, we've got to round them up. <laughs> Uh, he's back at his old stomping grounds at the pool hall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, they're about to go into the woods, but uh, 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 Gonza is the waiting for them. He's like, "Hey, if you want to go back into those woods, you're gonna have to go through me." So you know, if this was dubbed, that's exactly how he would sound. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, this uh, this is my audition tape. Uh, Patrick Dugan, two takes. <laughs> I just hear him as cool borrow from you, Hawk. You're messy. <laughs> Back hey, <down>. Hart. <laughs> got a little snack with you. <laughs> That's it. You've got the part. Got it. Nailed it. I'm I'm honored. I have to call my mom. <laughs> um, so uh, of course, uh, being much stronger, Hart uh, just knocks him down like one hit. But as little Umaso tries to walk past, uh, uh, the dino tries to grab him. Nips out. And he's like, hey, kid, you know what this big old piece of shit is? He's a <laughs> bad guy like me. 
And the best part of the movie, <laughs> yeah. Maso is like, I know. <sighs> he knows he's not his actual son. But And yeah. I quote, a dad is a dad. A dad, a dad is a dad. <laughs> <laughs> My heart. So I paused here for eight hours and cried. <laughs> and cried. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do the like... rest of my notes I have to muddle through because they're just soaked in tears. <laughs> <laughs> I did like the clash between uh, Hart and uh, Gonza because it was like a samurai duel where it was just real. They just ran past each other and then Gonza goes down and that's it. Like they didn't they didn't give it any more time than it absolutely needed to. And it was just like, ooh, it felt like an old like samurai standoff at like sundown. I was like, yeah, love it. Because <laughs> they fought each other enough. Yeah, yeah. we just see it like a chunk of Gonza's neck dis- uh, missing. Like, after they clash and that's it. And it's like, ooh, badass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he kicked a bite out of his neck. <laughs> he kicked a bite out. Uh, so the volcano finally erupts and uh, they run back into the forest uh, to go look for his family. Uh, uh, they return to the herd and the herd, of course, is like, oh shit, a big jaw. Everyone run away. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, Heart is kind of ignoring them, just going, where's mom, where's mom, where's mom? And Light is there and is like, my brother. Oh, I recognize my brother. <laughs> uh, so uh, he's like, hey, Light, where's mom? He's like, uh, she went missing yesterday. She uh, went out to go gather food and never came back. She might be at our old house. <gasps> so Heart uh, is going to go find her and he's like light come with me we have to go save mom and light's like no i have to stay and protect the herd we're terrified of this eruption so we're gonna stay still and do nothing (laughs) the Mm. the baby dinosaurs are too young to move it's like fucking carry them brah like (laughs) what small (laughs) you are strong uh so uh, Hart is like, oh, that's stupid, don't die. And he runs through the herd like, ah, I'm going to eat you. Not really, but get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Trying to scare him off. Uh, so they scatter and he runs to go find his mom. Uh, and as he's running through the woods trying to find him, uh, he starts having old flashbacks of him and Light playing in these woods. And it's so uh, good. <laughs> I do like when he's running, he's carrying almost so in his mouth. And he even says, like, oh, I'm sorry, you're getting big. Like, kind of like, we can't we can't do this anymore. <laughs> we haven't drawn you any bigger, but, oh, you're thick. <laughs> your your shell hurts. Spikes are stabbing you shell him all the way through. Just pure <laughs> solid. <laughs> uh, so he finally gets back to his old house, the <laughs> old tree root house thing. And his mom is there. And has, oh, a, boy. has a beautiful reunion. He's like, okay, we got to get out of here. He's like, oh, but I have to go get the little ones because she has more babies. babies. I was crying this whole time. <laughs> I sent I sent a picture to Brandon of me crying. I was just laughing. <laughs> oh, yeah, so Hart has little brothers and they're all mm. adorable. And... Uh, mom is like, oh, I see you have a little one, too. And and we get the first time he says, oh, yes, this is my son, Umasu. <laughs> oh, <I can't. laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so they all leave together. Big happy family. You know, I don't know what it is, but when she said, I'm your grandma, I was just like, I, I can't. I'm done. I, gotta, full, I gotta go. It's a full ass family I'm done now. for the couch. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to bed. It's two in the afternoon. I, I need the movie to end here. <laughs> I can't take any anything else. Well, uh, we even see we even see like the little dinosaurs. Like, oh, are you our brother? He's like, yeah, like I'm different, but like I won't eat you. But everyone else that looks like me will. So like, well, careful. Be like, careful. Like, I'm special. Don't trust anyone else that looks like me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Uh, uh, they run away, and the mom accidentally tumbles off a cliff, but uh, Heart saves her, and Light comes to the rescue and pulls them all up together. So finally, the whole family is reunited, 
And Yay. Uh, yeah, so uh, the little one's like, hey, you, you gonna eat us? And he's like, nope, but here's a fun song to uh, haunt your dreams <laughs> and sings the Big Jaw song of like, look out, crying kids, I'm about to eat ya. I but really it's all like... cute now because it's a cautionary tale. <laughs> yeah. I really like how that song really like segmented this whole movie of like, the beginning when Hart's young and learns it from like the sloth uh, mom. And then when Hart's singing it himself before he attacks the long necks in like the middle part, and then this part at the end, Ugh. Mm-hmm. it's it's just so good. It uh, it's, it's very well done because like they also just sing it in different styles. The first one's like oh creepy and ominous, ominous and then it's yeah. like hell yeah rock and roll punk fuck <laughs> you. And now here's like hey kids here's a lesson. This, the, like mm-hmm. it's not. It wasn't done like this, but it very much had the feel of cats in the cradle <laughs> because <laughs> light comes back and Hart's like, hey, didn't you have to do your job with the herd? And I was expecting light to be like, ah, I got time off from the office. Like what? Like <laughs> he, he's very much like a corporate man now that he's older. And it's just like it very much had cats in the cradle vibes to me. I know we'll have a good time now. <laughs> uh, so uh, they're leaving the forest they're back on the plains but baku is waiting for them he's like hey you had two chances and you didn't take it <laughs> you dumb piece of shit <laughs> you dumb. so uh he's like all right uh i'm gonna i'm gonna fight you so uh they they have their big final confrontation uh just a wonderful anime fight of just a giant t-rex and a regular sized t-rex just fucking kicking the shit out of each other <laughs> doing martial <laughs> arts uh this is also the first time we've seen blood despite the whole movie being about like eating other animals yeah mm. yeah there's like intense stuff but here's where it's like oh shit it's real <laughs> it's dramatic now yeah. uh is it because they are blood <laughs> uh, but yeah in the middle of the fight uh baku's like Hmm, I knew it was you. <laughs> Pretty but he doesn't good say it out loud. <laughs> He's just like, ah, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, this is for me. I know that technique spits blood. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's another eruption, and Baku screams, and he's like, let's keep fighting. Uh, Hart jumps and grabs him by the neck, but Baku just... Hugs him and body slams him. Just classic <laughs> Bowser off the edge of the level <laughs> Super Smash Bros. stuff. Yeah, down smash off the edge. Motherfucker. Uh, I saw this and I was like, Baku goes in for the hug. And then ROK's out of nowhere. Boom! No one saw him coming. <laughs> it's like, it really looks like he's going to hug hard. And then he just crushes him. Yeah, I was... No remorse. I was so... I wanted it to be like, ah, you got the death blow. My son, hug. I I, I I accept you now. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, so uh, body slams him. Uh, Everyone thinks he's dead. (laughs) I thought he was dead. He is unmoving with his eyes open. (laughs) Uh, So they all, uh, the family runs up to him and uh, Baku and his mom are like, ha, yes. Parenting, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just talking over their dead child. <laughs> you're the mother? You're like, yes, you're the father? It's like, oh, this is, a, oh boy. Uh, well, whoa, cool. funny to meet you at the gravesite of my son. <laughs> yeah. No, wait. Sorry, I just our, killed our son. Our son. <laughs> That's how they bond. Uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, he's like, hey, hey. Uh, took a lot for you to uh, raise a meat eater knowing it was going to grow up to be a meat eater. So I respect you. That's a baller move. I'm going to let you go. And lays down and dies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we already got the ash like coating everything around them. So it's like, oh, that volcano's close. Mm-hmm. Seems as good a time as any. Uh, good night. Good but on. yeah, so Hart recovers. He makes it. They, they get up and run away. So they uh, escape uh, before the eruption gets super deadly. And uh, afterwards, more time passes. They go back and they meet up with the the herd again. And they're like, okay, so uh, we're going to probably not come back here because it's a barren wasteland (laughs) because a volcano (laughs) destroyed everything. Yep. 
Uh, so uh, mom invites them all to join the herd, but uh, he's like, no, it's it's for the best that we go off on our own. So there's uh, the final closure of having that tearful goodbye he didn't get to have as a child with his mom. <laughs> 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 and he's like, let's go, son. And he and Umasa r- walk out into the sunset, and he goes and marries Pero, and it's great. <laughs> it just... I sure hope they go back to that beach. Like, why would yeah, they? Yeah, they had like a, a good thing going place. there. I like yeah, that we that's s- the movie. <laughs> I like when he leaves, you see one of the um, one of the new kids, like, reaching out, kind of crying, too, the one. And it was the one that uh, Hart was carrying, like, back through the woods all the time. Mm. And, like, asked if uh, they would eat her and stuff. So I'm like, oh, she bonded with her uncle re- immediately. Like, instant. <laughs> or big brother. Br- big brother, actually, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Ugh. What a film. <laughs> this is a film? <laughs> this is a cinema. Film. <laughs> Theater. I am, like, shocked. <laughs> yeah, I was... Like, this was really good. <laughs> this is not... Okay, so uh, these were the <laughs> yeah. feelings I was expecting last week of uh, parent-child uh, relationships. So <laughs> this is why I was slightly disappointed, because I was looking for this. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the difference between a movie and a 13-episode th- yeah. series. <laughs> but still, I was like, mm, uh, uh, just a, a week later, I got the <laughs> gratification I was looking for. <laughs> Delayed payoff. Uh, but I mean, I tell you, you guys weren't thrilled about it, probably not. Are we there yet? Probably not, right? Like, we're not. Hated, hated it. Oh, right? the worst. Never again. Burn it to I'm not ground. recommending this to every uh, uh, parent <laughs> ever. <laughs> I just, I, like, once I found out it was dinosaurs, I was like, okay, this is just going to be cute. It's going to be fun. This is going to be a good time. Yeah, and colorful. I was crying literally <laughs> the first time five minutes in. Yeah. Uh, God, a this movie so with an good. anime training montage sequence made me cry. <laughs> I, I'm distraught. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, I like I well, no, I really want to watch with this with Paul because I know he would really like it. It's just so sweet. It's just a good movie. Like this is a movie where you wouldn't like try and sell someone of like ah, it's anime. Like no, it's just this is just a heart wrenchingly beautiful movie. And like I think anyone anyone who is isn't impatient enough to actually read subtitles because I know that throws some people off for some reason. Um, I I think anyone would enjoy this movie. And if you're a parent. It'll be soul destroying. <laughs> It'll ruin you, but in yeah. the best way. I was thinking about this because I was like, "Oh, I want to recommend this to like people with kids." And it's like, "But are kids gonna sit here and read a, a foreign film?" Mm. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, "Hmm." I, don't know. I mean, it. It's. I think it's. It seems like it is based off a kid's book, or if we believe it is. Um, so it like the, I think the colors and the aesthetic are enough to like draw in some kids, and um, if anything, this would be a good one to try and get kids to watch like a subtitled movie for the first time. Like this might be a good one to try on them. Yeah, if you want to raise a young film student uh, <laughs> a, into a young indie lead. bullshit, then this is a perfect <laughs> introduction. <laughs> yeah, it just felt like it did feel like a kids movie, but at the same time, kind of like how like Pixar is now. It had a lot of like adult <laughs> themes. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of death. It's it's the circle of life. You got to eat stuff to live. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, <laughs> and also wow. a volcano will come and destroy your child at home. You know, as it does. <laughs> the huge, the huge. You know, this got me thinking about that Disney movie Dinosaur. Uh, I don't yeah. remember anything about that h- ugly, <laughs> Same. horrid. I looked it up because I was like, I know there's a dinosaur that's raised by a family of non-dinosaurs. I was like, is are are they doing the same thing? But no, the plots are different, so I didn't bring it up. <laughs> but yeah, okay, I, I remember. It just made me think about it, like not necessarily in that sense, but I was just like, that's another movie about a dinosaur. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was just like, there seems to be a lot of overlap, and I was like, oh no, I haven't seen this movie in twenty years. There's very little overlap. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I remembered the Taco Bell tie-ins with that movie, and like that's about <laughs> it. Mm-hmm. I had the little McDonald's hand puppet thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, God. It, like, that feels like the uh, perfect example of, like, 
I see a lot of video games of like triple A video game titles where it's like this is realistic and gritty and it looks like real life. It's like yeah, but it's also kind of ugly because of that. And then like the indie game, which is this movie, where it's like here's our own style and it's colorful as shit and they're just squishy dumb babies and we love them. <laughs> it's like yeah, that more, more of that. This is the one. This is the one I want. <laughs> so. It makes sense. This is the uh, Nintendo version, the Japanese yeah. <laughs> version. It's like, hey, let's not worry about uh, your Microsoft realism. <laughs> let's make it just appealing to look at instead of realistic, because we don't know what dinosaurs really looked like. <laughs> let's make yeah. it something that's still going to be good to look at 10 years from now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would be super interested in watching a series of this, but I'll definitely watch this again. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think it works as a movie. I'm curious to see, because I know that uh, on the Wikipedia page, the anime series says it got delayed because of COVID and stuff. So I'm curious to mm. see if like, if there's more of it, if we see Omiso grow up, if he raises a little raptor baby and like keeps the cycle going like or what. <laughs> so... Um, I think as a self-contained movie, it's fantastic. It's incredible, and uh, yeah, as a series, it'd be like, uh, I don't, I don't know if we need that, but I'd, I'd still watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if I can find the books, I'd love to read them mm-hmm. to a child <laughs> that I may or may not have one day. <laughs> you can read them to Jasper. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Great! Yay! <laughs> hey, please don't eat me. Is the song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a what a good time! What a what a joyous occasion this has been. I pick good stuff sometimes. Just most of the time, I consciously choose not to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you choose to go wholesome, you go very wholesome. Yeah. You did it. I know what good content is. I just ignore that instinct in me <laughs> and go for Durara again. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, you turned off your morality computer. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's flying right into the black hole. <laughs> uh, so, what we got so, going on next week? Yeah. yeah. So next week we have a recommendation from Page First. We are going to watch a show I know nothing about, which is always terrifying. It's right. high school prodigies have it easy even in another world. Some mm. very wordy bullshit. So I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Love a simple title, easy to remember. I mean, we had good yeah. luck with Bo Fury, so we'll see. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, these titles, they really tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> Great. But yeah, so if there's a show you, the listener, would like to recommend, you can send your recommendations to us. Our email is yet at gmail.com, or you can reach out to us on Twitter or Instagram, yet on both. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Patrick Dugan. You can find me on Instagram at Queen Period Weeaboo and on Twitter at Queen underscore Weeaboo and Queen underscore Weeaboo Art. You can find me on Twitter at ABTS Brendan. It stands for Almost Better Than Silence, which is a video game podcast I do. Same day uh, released on this one, Mondays. Woo! Gah, gah, good little double feature there. Yeah, if you want to hear <laughs> two, by, two hours worth of me, God help you, but you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible, but mm, not recommended. We don't recommend it. <laughs> it is medically irresponsible to listen to more than six hours. Uh, but yeah, thank you to Camille Ruli for our artwork. Thank you to Louis Zong for our theme song stories. You can find all of Louis's music at louisong.bandcamp.com. Thank you, and we hope you'll join us next week as we learn to live with anime. I think we should just end the podcast, honestly. This is it. The finale. I'm going to go with Dr. Porcupine now.